Say yeah. those names because I want to answer to them. <laughs> Come on, fucker. You ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? I'm sure I'm ready. Positive you're ready? Are you I'm sure? not doing it. Are you? Are you fucking right. positive you're not fucking Maybe. ready, you fucking fuck? Fuckity fuck, 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 fuck. I'm not drunk enough yet that you're going to make me do it. Fucker so Good day, you... Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Reverend. Rhino Reverend. Reverend Rhino. The legendary Muskoka Spring Oddity. I'm convinced he's honestly trying to rape me. This is the internet. Meme. You will see this in different ways because he puts videos up at different points. <coughs> but if he put them up in actual succession order, this is the third or fourth tonight alone that have been this fucking size. I'm pretty sure out of nowhere he's coming out as a husband and trying to make something wrong happen. Anyway, this is brewed by the Muskoka Cottage Brewery uh, in uh, Bracebridge, Ontario. Good old Bracebridge. 8% alcohol. A Muskoka seasonal brew. I gotta work tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> like really. Each year the I'm fine with that, but mm. each year the tempered thaw of a Muskoka winter gives rise to new and strange creations. Legends date back to the eighteen yeah, hundreds when lumberjacks new creations. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna try and get up on me. When lumberjacks and yeah. fur traders so, took lumberjacks, to the I'm hundred percent sure he's I'm, there's gonna be a video out of nowhere it's gonna go from fucking Justin T V to like you jizz. That's all that's gonna happen. <laughs> like that's all that's gonna happen out of nowhere. Like the video feed's gonna cut out and he's just gonna be trying to fucking rape me. <laughs> to the woods and encountered the mysterious culture and wildlife in the unknown. Mysterious culture. Northern Ontario, sorry, in the unknown northern Ontario region. Oh, we're in the fucking states. I thought redneck crunch culture was rape. Today, <laughs> we echo our style. unnatural <laughs> quest and have unearthed this season's most distinct <laughs> offerings. Uh, deliverance. The un- <laughs> I'm waiting for that. <laughs> the culmination <laughs> of the ingredients in our now, legendary uh, Muskoka Spring Oddity Brew. We invite you to release the legend. I won no legends. Vintage released. 2012. Ingredients: pure Muskoka water, heather tips, juniper berries, sweet orange peel, 72 husbands, North American no, malt, just one white one. <laughs> noble hops, Belgian yeast, and Belgian candy sugar. That might actually be. Good. And candy is spelt with an I. Oh, <laughs> so it's like a white trash hooker. Smoke. <laughs> Once again, it's like That's a what it's going to sound like when he pops your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say, I thought, uh, yeah. thought, thought, right. thought something was sliding up there. He's going to try to make some blue not action happen. No, you're a waste. My uh, magic sperm it won't impregnate you, so... Oh, no! no. It'll, it'll make, oh, shucks! It, it'll make magic white poop babies. I'm so upset that I couldn't have your child. <laughs> Doesn't mean it won't, you won't try. Yeah, he probably would. Drain this. I'll, I'll give that's the only downfall, the fact that every review we do in a night, that he's part of all of them. Cook me up a little he, bit. He's so getting, he's getting, I think he's getting a little rapier as mm. the night goes on. I'm getting rapier? Yeah, rapier. I believe that's unprofessional. Mm, rapier is very unprofessional. <laughs> would you like to try some, Christopher? No, I'm good. No? Oh, okay. it stinks like balls. Oh, great. Oh, that smells like balls. That's going to entice him. He's like, balls! Oh, it's skunky, it's skunky. Oh, great. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's the, like the last one, like the, well, the first, skunk, and then not the taste. The skunk it taste? Is, it's, uh, you know, I would have thought with some, some of the chemical, no. with some of the ingredients in it, it would have been darker. It's but complex. It, it looks, it looks like your average beer. Uh, doesn't look bad. I mean, it's mm-hmm. not pale, 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 like piss. No, it just looks like a beer. Yeah. It really does. It just looks like average, I'm gonna get a beer, here's your beer. It smells like a Belgian triple, actually. Smell it out of the bottle. You get a lot of the banana, you get a lot of, you almost get a smoky scent coming off of there. Uh, juniper berries are in it, orange peel is in it. I actually almost get a coriander smell more than orange peel. It doesn't say coriander. Didn't somebody already call that? Yeah. Coriander? Yeah, yeah. juniper, orange peel, coriander, and hops. Oh yeah. <laughs> Over there, is there on the fucking Who was box. that? Brew by me. No. Oh. Mm? But it doesn't say coriander in the ingredients, but you do smell it. You're getting that. But it could be just the combination to make that uh, that smell. I don't smell the juniper berries, though. Which is good. But, you know, juniper berries are actually fairly 
aroma, yeah, aromatic. Yeah. I would expect to get the aroma of the juniper berries. Yeah, fancy. Notice I had to correct him. I don't know. He was going to say aroma dick. Yeah. Let's try it. Aroma dick? You swore. Dick is a swear <laughs> word. Dick is, is a swear word. word. Dick no, is a no, short no, form no, of no, Richard. No, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Omer, aroma Richard? No. <laughs> aroma Richard is not a thing. Ding. My turn. Mm. No, no, it's it's Rev's turn. Mmm, true. Mm. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Aroma Richard alcohol. coming up. Eight percent right, alcohol, too. very light tasting. You get the banana though. The, the you do. The yeast. Um, I taste a little bit of the juniper berry. There, but a that's lot just of because I've had so much gin in my life. Mm. Mm. Well, there's definitely the, the banana that's going on, but yeah, not... What's, what's the percentage of this? What Eight. Yeah, no, yeah, no booze really going on at all. No. Um, get the orange peel. Yeah. You can actually taste coriander, too, and again, it must be the mixture of everything else, because it's there's no coriander in it. Yeah, just the mixer I, it's thing. It's a good Belgian style, dude. It is. Yeah, but it's the mixer thing where, like, the coriander that you would assume this there, but it's not actually yeah. part of it. So that is one of the most uh, joked about pieces in a beer. Mm. Other than it's saying, is there beer in it? Is there uh, the yeah. oh, Woodmaster? Water? Yeah, Woodmaster, Coriander, <sighs> but it's actually everything coming together would make it seem like that there is that in there. Yeah. Really? Are you taking that much of fucking effort to get in there? You can't do it? Playing what? With some wires from grabbing some shit. It's a really nice beer, though. No, it is actually good. It's, it's very actually, light. Yeah. It's very easy drinking. Uh, I don't know how many LCBOs this is in. I think we had to get it picked up in Toronto, was it? St. Catharines. Was it St. Catharines? Yeah. Yep. Like a wow. uh, DT or Welland? Uh, Fairview. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Fairview, so Fairview and Van Cleek Kill, the 4th Avenue. Yeah, one yeah, the two yeah, good one ones in St. Yeah. That makes sense then. Which is strange, because the one in Glendale is bigger than them all. Yeah. But it's also a weird spot. Yeah. Like, to kind of want to go out yeah, to. You're in Americans. So. Yeah. Like, yeah, the most people that come out there, like, they're wanting the fucking, the, the shape. Uh, it talks about noble hops, I'm not really tasting them. It talks about Belgian candy sugar. It's a little sweet, but I wouldn't yeah. say it's sweet enough that it has actual added sugar to it. No. Talks about North American malts. Uh, still, I'm not really tasting that. I'm tasting, the heather tips I'm tasting, but that's only because we've had the, we've had all those herbal beers from Scotland. Right, right. And they were all made with heather tips, and it just gives this little floral flavoring at the at but the forefront. Not, the in a, not in a bad way though. It's not like the really excessive, like right in your face, like fucking no. trying to punch it. It's like, it's, yeah, it's, there, it's complex. It. It's all well rounded. It's good. Yeah. No, that's honestly is a win. I am still one hundred percent convinced that he's trying to fucking rape me by the end of the night. Because every time that I keep doing a review, it's these size bottles. No, no, don't even try to fucking pop your top. You fucking keep your top over there, you son of a bitch. Keep your top. <laughs> what do you think of this beer out of 10? Uh, I'm doing a 6.5. Six, 6.5? Five. Six, five? Yeah. Six, five. But you I, I the fuck it. I'll give it a 7. 7. I probably would actually mm. buy this. 7. You remember the price it all off the top of your head? Don't look it up. 10 just. bucks. 10 bucks? It was like 9 something. Yeah, that's not bad for fucking something that's I'm nice. going to give it an 8.75. I really like this. It, it almost tastes like an imperial white. Bend over, big boy. Uh, uh, Don't turn it off. 